Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D floor plan in AutoCAD. So for that what you're going to use is this 3D cutaway option. Uh, mine right now is activated but I'm going to deactivate it. And then once I activate it you can see that these scissors appear on the side of the screen. So in order to generate a 3D cutaway what you have to do is drag one of these scissors and put it wherever you want it in your model. Once you're happy with the position, just click Finalize. OK, you can also drag one from the side of your model. Once you're happy with where it is, click Finalize. And so you can have both horizontal and vertical cutting planes. OK, I'm going to delete this last one that I created. And I'm going to show you that you can do the same thing in your floor plan and in your sections. So if you go in your floor plan, you can just drag these scissors. And if you go back to your 3D view, you can see a new 3D cutaway plan generated. I'm going to again delete this one. And then if you go in your section view, You can see the uh, 3D cutaway that we also see in the 3D view, so the first one that we generated, the horizontal one, and you can generate new ones either from the side or another one from above. Let's generate one from the side over here and go to our, to our, to our 3D view. And this is how that looks like. Let's delete this that last one. I'm sorry. Okay, so another thing that I want to show you is that you can generate uh, custom cutting planes. So if, let's say, we open a section, what we can do is click here on this little arrow and click on create custom cutting plane. Then what you can do is click once and then click a second time and then move your plane. And this one has a custom angle, so if you go in our 3D view, we can see that the floor plan is sectioned with one horizontal plane and one plane that has a custom angle. This can sometimes be helpful if you have a really big plan and you want to make the objects closer to the viewpoint a little bit more visible. Uh, you can generate these custom cutting planes also in your uh, 3D view and also in your floor plan view. Okay, another thing here to know is that if you click on this downward arrow again, what you can do is either show cutting planes or not. So if you click it again, the, the cutting planes will be visible. And another thing is that you can filter and cut elements in 3D. So let's say we don't want the objects to be visible if we deselect here. I'm going to click OK, the objects will disappear and all you have is your walls. In some cases this can be useful too. Another thing here at Filter and Cut Elements in 3D again, you can either change the color of the section of the cut surface. So either you, let's say, do it another color than what was generated before or you can maybe use element attributes and click OK, it's going to be the color of the rest of the wall. OK, another thing is that once you're done, you can just delete all of the cutting planes from here again. And then your initial model is generated. OK, another thing to remember is that these 3D cutaways uh, do not get exported when you save this as an Atlantis file. So you can uh, render it only with ARCHICAD. Okay, so in order to render with ARCHICAD, you're going to have to go to Window, Toolbars, and 3D Visualization. And in this toolbar, you can click here on Photo Rendering Settings, input your render settings, and then you're good to go. You can save that as an image file and you have your 3D floor plan 
generated. So yeah, this was a short video showing you just how to create one of these 3D floor plans and basically how to work with 3D cutaways in ARCHICAD. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching. Bye!